This actually isn't something we look at for investors, but I do think a lot of this has to do with people getting into the ETFs because it is that supply chain that you're talking about, right? So behind the ETFs, they have to buy more Bitcoin, which then is causing a supply glut with it. What's interesting is you point out that this is now larger than Berkshire. This is the same time as I pointed out how Microsoft is now basically twice the um, volume of the entire energy sector. So you're really just seeing that people are putting all of their money into what they perceive as the growth assets. Because if you're getting 5% on a money market for your safety, they're saying, well, if I'm going to be investing my money, I'm putting it into those high growth areas. So that's where you're seeing people's risk, risk appetite is going right back up. And is that justified? I think that's the question, right? I mean, I think some of these riskier assets are getting um, close to that irrational exuberance, I would say. Um, but I think that's exactly what's happening in the markets. So people are rushing to those categories, and that's what you're seeing with Bitcoin.